Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover how to tell if your baby has a good latch. So stay tuned to the end of the video for seven tricks on how to tell if your baby has a good and an effective latch while breast and chest feeding. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant. If you're new here, I would love to have you join our community, so please subscribe down below, hit the bell, and please feel free to take part in the conversation that is happening below the videos. I'd love to hear from you. So when you're in the beginning of your lactation journey, it can be really difficult to tell whether or not you have the correct latching technique. Once you've figured out how to get baby on, it can be difficult to tell whether or not the latch is a good one and if baby is indeed getting the milk out. So the first thing you want to look for is the latch should not be painful. You should feel strong pulling and tugging throughout the feeding, but it should not feel like baby is biting or chomping down on the nipple. It's normal once baby gets on for the initial latch to feel a little bit more painful for the first 20 or 30 seconds as baby works the nipple to the back of the mouth where the soft palate is. But if that latch feels more than a two to three out of 10 pain beyond that first 30 seconds, just go ahead and use your pinky to get in the corner of baby's mouth, break the suction, and try again to get a deeper latch. The second thing you wanna look for is positioning. So when baby is positioned for a feeding, baby should be in a straight line. Baby should be tummy to tummy with the parent and the ear, the shoulder, and the hip should all be in a straight line. Baby's neck should not have to turn to the side like this. If you try to turn your head to the side and swallow, it's very difficult to do so. So you want to imagine, same for baby, have baby right in a straight line like this. The third thing that you want to look for is an asymmetric latch. So what an asymmetric latch looks like is that baby's chin should be touching at the bottom edge of the areola and baby's bottom jaw should be covering most of the bottom edge of the areola and there may be a little bit more of the top edge of the areola showing. During the feed, baby's chin should be touching the tip of the nose should be touching and the lips should look flanged out like... <laughs> How's that for a visual for you? They should be flanged out like fish lips. And the lips should be at a 120 degree angle instead of like a very shallow angle like this. Baby's lips should be nice and flanged out like that. During that asymmetric latch you want to look for active and rounded jaw motion. So baby's jaw should be moving like and you may see wiggling all the way back to baby's ear. Those are called active jaw excursions and that's a sign that baby is actively feeding or having nutritive suckling. Towards the end of a feeding, those active sucks start to become more gentle and towards the front of the mouth, like just little gentle sucks. For active feeding, you should feel those strong pulls that we talked about in the beginning. For more tips on achieving a deep latch and a little bit about positioning and how to get baby on for a deep latch, check out this video that I recorded last week on achieving a deep latch and deep latch technique. The fourth thing you want to look for is how do baby's cheeks look. So the cheeks should look nice and rounded during the feeding, like this, and you don't want to see any dimpling. So if the cheeks are getting sucked in like that uh, means that something is going on with the latch and baby didn't quite get on there wide enough. If you're seeing the cheeks being pulled in, baby doesn't have effective suction to pull milk out of the breast or chest. Number five is you want to listen. So you should not be hearing any clicks while baby is feeding. This would mean that baby is losing suction. So clicks would sound like kind of a constant suction breaking during the feed. 
one thing you do want to hear is you want to listen for swallows. So baby is going to take little breaks every three or four sucks, especially in the beginning, to breathe and swallow. So in the little pauses between sucking, you should listen for a soft little puff of air coming from their throat, and it should sound like a little K, like The sixth thing you want to look for is that baby should be nice and relaxed throughout the feeding. You don't want to see baby furrowing their brow, um, you want to see a relaxed body. When a baby's hungry, you're going to see those fists close up to the face like this, nice and tight. And as the baby starts to relax, their fingers are going to start to open up, their arms are going to be a little bit farther away from the face. And as baby starts to get satiated, those arms are just going to flop down by their side like this. And you'll be easily able to kind of move their hand. Should be nice and relaxed with really relaxed muscle tone. I like to call this like a little gas gauge. So this is hungry, getting there, and then when it flops right down to their side, it's like, I'm done. Once baby gets to that point of feeling satiated, they may let go of the nipple on their own. Or you may notice that no matter what kind of stimulation you do to try to get baby to continue sucking, um, they just don't pick up that regular rhythm again. So once baby lets go, you should take a look and see what the nipple looks like once baby comes off. Pay attention to the shape of the nipple. The nipple should be nice and round. It might be a little bit longer than before the feed started, but you shouldn't be noticing that the nipple is pinched or pointed. You don't wanna see it pointed like a lipstick. It should be nice and rounded when baby comes off. If the nipple looks pinched, it means the baby was kind of clamping down on the nipple and closing off those milk ducts and that doesn't allow milk to flow as easily to the baby. I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope they help you get off to a good start and help you to identify when your baby has a good, deep, and effective latch. If you put all these things into place, I know within a couple of days you're going to be able to identify whether or not your baby is actually effectively feeding. If you're a new parent or just need a refresher on how to get lactation off to a good start, check out our free survival guide down below for the first one to five days with your newborn. I'm so happy that you've stopped by and would love to have you join our community. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified each week when we post a new video. I post a new video every Tuesday, so I'll see you next week.